So, in this part we install Flutter Firebase for our windows. For that, be sure that you are using Flutter version at least 3.3. Let's create brand new project. And here, write project name without underscore. I name it Firebase Task. And we create Firebase app. Press Get Started. Add new project. And here, be careful. You must type the same project name as your Flutter project name. We can get it from here. Go to the Android folder, App, Build.Gradle. Here inside default config, com, example, after that project name. You can copy it. Project name is ready. Now, continue. Continue again. Here, select default account for Firebase and create project. It may take some time. When it's ready, press continue. Here is the main part. We use it to add the Firebase to our app one by one. I mean, separately iOS and Android and so on. But now, we choose Flutter. It will install all at once. So, just follow my steps. Go to the first link. We choose Windows. Download Node.js for Windows. Download the recommended version. Install it like I am doing. Finish it. Now, we must install the npm pass to environment variables. First, go to npm pass. It usually on C disk. Users. Go to your user folder. App data. Be sure you can see the hidden folders. And go to roaming. Here is the npm folder. And here press on the pass and copy it. Search and type env. Press on edit system environment variables. Press the button environment variables. Select the pass and edit new and paste it here. Press ok. Here press npm. Now we install Firebase CLI using automatic install script. Copy this command and run it on any terminal. To test the Firebase CLI, let's run this Firebase login command. First time you mustn't receive such kind of comment. If whenever you come across this error, just go to the path written in the error. And delete the firebase.ps1 file. Run the comment again. Press Y and enter. Choose an account. And allow. Run this comment to see all Firebase project lists. And here are all projects. We done the first step. Because we already have a Flutter project and installed Flutter SDK. So, press next. In the second step, copy this comment and run it on any terminal. It's ready. 
Copy next comment and run it at the root of your Flutter project. I mean here only. And this is the amazing part. Here we choose which platforms do we need to configure. At the moment it installs all platforms. Use arrow keys to go up and down and press space key select or unselect. In the end, press enter key. It takes some time. Now Firebase configurations for all platforms are ready. Let's check it for Android. Go to Android file, app, and there is a Google service JSON file created for us. Here you can see the ID, and here is the file for iOS. So now, we need Firebase core package. Let's install it on PubSpec YAML file. If you want to add the dependencies like me, be sure you have installed the extension name at PubSpec Assist and press Ctrl space. Now we import all necessary files to lib folder. You can download it. So press reveal in file explorer. Unzip the downloaded file. Copy the all files from lib folder and pass it on project lib folder. Press replace and it replaces main file. And here in the text file, copy the all dependencies that we used before. Here, in the project we are using hydrated block version 9, and it's already migrated. Pass them and run flutter pub get command. And you can delete the text file. So, press next. And in the last step, we initialize Firebase. For that, copy and paste the package imports. and copy this function. After that, pass it into the main function. And here, in the test folder, we need to fix this error. It must be the same like our main file. Press the continue to console. That's all with installation Firebase on Windows. In the next lectures, we continue coding on Windows too, because other parts are the same for macOS and Windows and so on. Ta-ta for now!